Welcome to my channel, Didi's Journey Conquering Life After 50. Today's video is going to be about how I went from this to this. Okay, I finally got the individual faux locks out. And what I did was braided each part of my hair. This part was, all of this was parted, believe it or not. <laughs> so I braided individual braids and then I attach the locks to each one of those. Okay, so I got all of the cuts out, um, detangling again. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Whew. Now, about to wash it. Okay, corn rolls are done. I'm not the best at parting. I actually suck at parting. But the corn rolls are done. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, and that's real big. I could have made it in a two, but I'm tired. So <laughs> I'm done with the corn rolls, and now I'm about to start installing the hair. This hair is the Equal Brand Soft Dread, $4.99 a pack, and it is color 1B. Um, I also want to show you the hair. This is the hair cut in half. It's cut in half. This is half. And I separated. It can separate very easily. I separated into three pieces. So you see that? That's one piece. And two or three so i don't install the hair and it's full i don't install the hair like this and this big curl here i don't like how that looks i mean that's fine some people may like this thick thick curl but i separate it into three pieces and then that helps you too to not use as much hair. I did buy four packs. Um, I'm still on my first pack and I don't have that much more to go. So I'll probably use another full pack. I'm not sure, but yeah. I really like this hair and I would say that this is my favorite. And that's because it's so easy to work with. It separates without tangles. You can put it in, it stays in. You don't have to loop it a bunch of times. It, it doesn't slide out easily. And so this is always my favorite hair and my go-to hair for my latch hook braids. Okay, I'm almost done with the back part. Again, I did cut the hair in half um, because I don't wear it super long in the back anyway. So cutting it in half saves me from wasting hair and having to cut so much off. Um, I'm still going to use the cutoff hair and I probably won't start installing the hair the full length until I get closer to the top. It depends. Because like I said, I always cut it and shape it to my face anyway. And this way, cutting it saves me from um, wasting a lot of hair. So let's get to it. Well, we've already got to it. Let's continue to it. Can y'all see I'm tired? Because my, my eyes, I'm tired. <laughs> All right. I'm almost done here. I have to do the front and and then shape it. I started putting the longer pieces in the front 
um, when I showed, when I got like halfway, I stopped cutting the hair in half. So all of this will be cut to frame my face. So, like I said, you see that? I gotta add hair there. And then shape and Okay, I added a, a lot of hair. Um, so now I'm just filling in pieces here and there. You see how long it is from adding the sides and the back? So I just gotta cut that part in the front. And am I gonna make my part here? Um, just add, I need to add some more hair in the front here. And I, I'm not, I've never been a tight braider. I cannot braid really tight. And I can't, I'm ne I can't, I haven't been able to like grab the, the hair like right here. So it's like the braids always start back a little further for me because I'm just, I'm not, I, I'm not a braider. I just do my own hair. I do my hair because it's easy for me and I like doing my hair, but no, I I don't like doing other people's hair. I do my daughter's hair sometimes and my sister's hair, but sometimes, but I do not like doing people's hair for that reason because I don't, I can't, I just cannot grasp the hair right at the beginning. And you know, people want their hair to be all slick and stuff. That ain't me, I can't do that. I can't do all that. But I do it sufficiently enough for me. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna um, add some more hair here and maybe like on the side there, but you see that part there? That's where it's going to be parted. And um, maybe if I need to add some more hair here and there just to puff it up a little bit more on that side. And then I'm going to cut it to shape my face. All right. Later. Y'all see I'm looking tired? I don't even know what time it is, but I'm tired. My nail fell off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, this is what I have left of the second pack. I'm about to go in and start um, cutting and shaping, and I may like add some more pieces here and there, but for right now, um, it's time to start shaping. All right, that's it, I'm done, I'm tired, it's going on, I think, the last I checked, it was like 2.46, I think. <clears throat> if not 2.46, 1.46. I think it was 2.46. You know what? Let me just check. All right, folks, that's it. It's going on 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> um, Just looking at my hair, I know there's going to be pieces that I want to cut or add or whatever. Because that's, that's how I do it. When I'm... When I do my hair for the first three, four days, I'm like adding pieces or taking pieces out or cutting or whatever because I like to have my hair framed to my face. So I just make a big to do about it um, until I get it to where I feel that it's right. But as for right now, almost three o'clock in the morning is right. <laughs> so I'm out to take my butt to bed tomorrow i'll do any adjustments and just looking at it here i can see a few pieces that need to be shortened and then this cut to make it a little bit more even but i'll worry about it tomorrow because i'm really really tired all right thank you so much for watching my video please comment like and subscribe Peace. Good morning. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about this hair growth oil. It's by my friend, um, her company, Rain by Dominique. That's the name of it, Rain by Dominique. 
um, and you see it's oily from the oil spilling on it when I'm touching it with my hand, but it contains organic black castor oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, cedarwood oil, rosemary oil, tea tree oil, vitamin E orange, vitamin E orange oil, eucalyptus, gold globulus oil, and peppermint oil. And that is it all natural. I will link um, the information to her website. Rain by Dominique. I want to talk a, a little bit more about their hair growth oil um, because I didn't really go into it too much. I just listed the ingredients before, but I just want to say that this hair growth oil really does work. It grows hair. I mean, whatever the ingredients that she uses, the combination of ingredients, it works. And this will grow your hair. Also, on top of it, on top of it growing your hair, it um, smells amazing, amazing. And I even told her like, if you wanted to sell this as a fragrance, an oil, you know, you can buy like the oil fragrances, I would for real purchase it as an oil and put it on my body and <laughs> with the added benefit of uh, using it on my hair because it really does work as a growth oil. This is my third bottle. You can see I don't have much left. So I will be putting my order in for another bottle, another bottle because I use it regularly. Um, it has enough in it that, um, you know, it, it would take some time to use it up. It's a nice size bottle for the price. So um, it's time for another bottle and I just put it on my scalp. And like I said, it helps my hair to grow and it smells amazing. I also wanted to say about the hair 